What if your computer could feel your emotions and DJ your life? Stay with me here. Inspired by Black Mirror, I decided to build exactly that. I've been watching Black Mirror for a while now and I wanted to build my own kind of take on something. So a real-time emotion-aware music system called Mood DJ. And I decided to use JetBrain's new AI coding agent, Juni, to help me build it fast. All right, here's the idea. Black Mirror inspiration. I've been watching a lot of Black Mirror lately, as I mentioned, and I kept thinking, what if I could actually build one of these near future type, future kind of futuristic projects myself? So I gave myself a challenge, build something that feels futuristic, kind of strange, kind of weird, and a little bit eerie. The idea is simple, a system that reads your facial expressions and automatically plays music that matches your mood. Here's the stack I decided to use. So how it works is I used OpenCV to capture the webcam feed. MediaPipe will then track facial landmarks in real time, and a pre-trained emotion detection model will classify my mood. From there, it will play different songs that fit the vibe based on my facial expressions. So if I'm happy, I will get upbeat tracks. If I'm sad, I'll get lo-fi or melancholy songs. Neutral, it'll be more like chill ambient music. So tying this all together might sound simple, but the actual coding is a lot more complex. There are edge cases to think about, performance issues, and API quirks. And that is where Juni comes in. So let me take you through how I built this project. Okay, so you can see here I have opened my PyCharm IDE and I have Juni open here on the side and I just input this prompt. So it says create a Python app that uses OpenCV, which is a Python library for creating computer vision or using computer vision to capture a webcam feed and then detects emotion with media pipe classifies the mood and triggers music based on the result. So this is literally me starting from scratch with Juni. I, I don't have any files even created yet. So let's just see what where it takes us. So it's, we're building this in real time together. One thing I really like though is I can see what Juni is thinking and working on. So right now it's sending LLM request and it will continue sharing with me the step-by-steps it is taking, which I think is pretty cool. Okay, so you can see here it is working. It comes up with a plan first of all, which is really nice. One, explore the repository structure to understand what's already available. I like that it, you know, does that to start with and kind of lets me know. Set up the necessary dependencies, create a Python script. So this is what it's saying or it understood from my prompt. Initialize webcam capture with OpenCV, process frames to detect faces using media pipe, extract facial landmarks and analyze them, classify detected emotion, and then select playlist appropriate music based on the mood. All right. It knew, it understood the assignment. Okay, so terminal is open, it says now, and it's editing some code, which is wild. Let me see if we can open main.py that it just created as it's writing the code. This is crazy. Okay, edit the requirements files that successfully been created. It's wild. So you can see here too, one thing I really like is you can see what package requirements are required, which we will install in a second here. And just created the readme. Now let's see, create music directories if they don't exist. So right now, how it's going to be getting music and how it's structured it is it's going to be creating a music directory and then we put the music in there. So I think it's a good way to start with and then we can always upgrade it to use the Spotify API, for example, which would be very easy to do using something like Juni because it will walk you through the steps. But let's just go with the flow, you know, let's just see. Um, I also like that they created a demo, uh, a demo file here. You can see a demo script that has been created to allow users to test the face detection and emotion analysis features without music playback. So maybe we'll start with that. Let's just wait till it finishes though. We need that song on there that it's like, um, what is it? It's like, do, 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 do. What is that from? It's some kind of game show. Okay. Okay. Back to the code. But if you know where it's from, please leave in the comments. Okay, so we can see here, it says it's done. It created new files. It goes through what files it created, how many lines it created, which is pretty cool, and what exactly it does. So let's go ahead and install these requirements. Let's click on install requirements. And saying it failed, let's go here. What is going on? Try reading PyCharm guide, try installing package by running the commands in the terminal. Okay. Um, let's see here, import. 
how do I install these packages? Of course, we know how to typically install packages, but I want to let Juni do everything and guide us through it. So whether you are a senior software developer or engineer, or maybe just someone starting out, you can follow along to this. So it's very important. So let's go examine the requirements file. These are everything that's going to be installed. And then explain potential issues, provide da da da. Mm, you know what I think we should do first is run the virtual environment. I think that's where the, let me do that. Before I install these packages, let's run the virtual environment on Mac. Obviously type in what you are on. Okay, so what I did was, I was kind of prompting it wrong. I was being a bad prompter. So what I decided to do was rather than how to install these packages, I said, install these packages for me. And that's exactly what it's doing right now, as you can see. So it shared the plan, opened up the requirements file, opened up terminal. This is what it's uh, making sure I'm already running in a virtual environment. And now it's going ahead and installing the packages for me, which is really cool. That was a very rookie mistake, the way I did it. How versus do for me. And it's walking us through it as it is installing. After testing this out, Junie might be a bit slower than some other IDEs, but I trust Junie so much because of the plan feature, good context awareness, and the results that it's given me. So just having it a little bit slower than some other IDEs really doesn't phase me, but I just wanted to call that out to be totally transparent. This is wild and it happens so fast. Okay, so you can see here it has, it's done, it installed all required packages, which is pretty cool. Now let's go ahead and should we just run it and see what happens? I mean, it's kind of wild, but why not? Actually, before I run it, I'm not just gonna run it. I'm gonna go run this project for me. Obviously, once again, we could, but we are letting Junie do everything. We're letting them do all the work. We are just its coach, <laughs> essentially. Well, we are doing work as well, but for this, I just really wanted to see, to push it to the limits. I mean, obviously, when you're building a larger project or working on a team, you will use Junie more as an assistant. This is showing you how you can use it from start, from beginning to end. Uh, building out a new project that you still need to have a very strong understanding technically as to what you are doing and building. But in some cases like this, even if you don't, you can still play around with Juni and JetBrains, in this case, PyCharm, and build some really cool things, which I think is really inspiring for people who might have all these amazing ideas for businesses, but don't have a coding background. Okay, so it's opening uh, the demo file let's see here it's making some changes editing some things you can see <laughs> it's so weird looking at it you can see here now we have um it's tracking all my facial expressions so pretty cool very cool actually but the thing is it's always saying surprised which maybe i always look surprised i don't i don't know there's maybe you can let me know but let's try and like exaggerate so no it's not picking up other emotions. Okay, so we gotta fix that. One sec here. Let's close this. You can see here the mood surprised. Let's go here, quit. Okay, and then let's go back here. Cancel step, stop. And let's go, it is always saying my mood is surprised. Uh, please. I always say please. Update the code so it picks up on other emotions. That's one thing I really like to do is I write, like to run it pretty quickly to see what's working, what's not working, where things need to change. Um, it really helps me iterate faster. So let's see what it can update. And then we will add in some music. Once again, it is checking the different kind of, or showing us the different plan and where it's at on the plan. So fix the motion detection issue. Okay, so you can see, oh no, it's gonna keep on changing as I'm talking. Let me just demo. No, it's for some reason it thinks it's ang I'm angry when my mouth opens. Just hear me out. So it likes to think I'm surprised all the time. Angry. No, that's not surprised. Angry. 
<laughs> Sorry, I can't move. I jammed the music. Okay, like surprise. There's a few glitch. Come on, do smile. Okay, I decided to add a few more features here and I don't know, what do you think? It's a pretty fun project. There's a lot we can continue to build with it, but it turned out pretty good. Okay, so you can see it's doing surprised really well. It's doing angry kind of well, but it's also kind of strange because it's just when I open my mouth, but it needs to know from some gesture. So I'm gonna continue prompting it to work on neutral, sad, and happy, which is a fun way for you to continue with the project as well. I will upload this to my GitHub so you can continue building onto it. And yeah, I'm pretty impressed. We did that in like under 10 minutes, which is kind of wild when you think about it. Overall, my impression of Juni is really incredible. I mean, it saved me so much time on repetitive tasks or boilerplate tasks. It also helped me stay in the flow by letting me offload smaller tasks without constantly switching context. And it also made it easier to experiment. I mean, I could try different ideas quickly without worrying about breaking the project and not being able to fix it. It basically acted like a second pair of eyes suggesting refactors or structure changes I probably, no, definitely wouldn't have thought of for my own code. Okay, so I'm curious to hear what you think of the result. Juni wasn't just a shortcut, it genuinely helped me move faster. I didn't have to spend hours debugging API calls or threading issues. I could literally just focus on refining the core logic of the emotion to music flow. And because Juni ran tests and code inspections after each change, the app stayed stable, which is really cool. I could experiment, I felt like, without constantly worrying about breaking things. You know when you're building a really cool project and you're like, I don't know if I should implement this or want to implement that because I'm going to break something and this is supposed to be fun. That is what Juni allowed me to do, really unlock my creativity and just see where I could take this project. So this version of Mood DJ is just a proof of concept, but imagine where it could go. I mean, wellness apps, therapy tools, productivity playlists, interactive art, the foundation is there and you can build something even better. And if you're thinking about building something weird or futuristic, just like I did, make sure to go try Juni because once you can delegate the setup and scaffolding like we did in this project, you can focus on the fun part, the creative part really, the invention. Now you can go try Juni right now inside JetBrains IDEs. It's free to test. I linked it down in the description. So whether you're building the next Black Mirror app or just want to speed up your workflow, it is a game changer. I hope you enjoyed going through this project with me and building it with me as much as I did, let me know in the comments what you would build with this tool. All right, I'm gonna go continue to build further with it. Where should we take this next? Leave in the comments. Okay, bye.